Welcome to today's video, everybody. I've got something super special for you. We've got a shop tour, and we're at a brand new shop called Meiku, which is north of Tokyo and kind of west in a place called Saitama, not too far from Yashio. But this shop is awesome because they are all about skylines. And this here is the owner of Meiku. This is Takanori-san, AKA the Skyline Daddy or Skyline Papa, as I like to call him. <laughs> but he doesn't obviously speak English. We're gonna do our best today. But he is, he's, I don't know how to describe him, but he has all the things that you could have dreamed of. And this is just his public location. I don't know if we'll ever get to show on camera his private location, but these are all of his cars, bar one of them, which is Otani-san's car, which we'll look at in a second. But this shop is really, really cool. He's got a lot of cool stuff and we're gonna show you guys around. So we're gonna go through and check out some of these cars. The first one being this 34 four-door with a GTR RB26 engine in there. Yeah. Saw this car? Yeah. This car was at Auto Salon? Yeah. Did I get that right? Yes, yes, yes. That's cool. So this is a four-door, is it four-wheel drive or is it rear-wheel drive? FR to this car. FR this. So it's FR, rear wheel drive. So it's a rear wheel drive converted RV26. Yeah. And there's a full Okubo factory wide body. So this is essentially like a family, um, a family rear wheel drive GTR. Damn, I love this color, it looks great. Wow. The interior has been kind of spruced up as well. Very nice, love the Recaro blues. Old Saad gauges, this is sick. I love the star for the key too, it's nice. Got an ARC cooling panel in the front. Looks like it's not running airflow meters. It computer nani this car. Oh, it's running a HKS V Pro. So that's why there's no airflow meters. It's cool. I like that. Man. RB26 is man, they just look so good. So Takonori-san was saying that this car here is going to be getting built up into something similar to that and this is going to be used as a parts car. As you can see, this thing's uh, probably a little uh, worn for wear with a bit of rear rust and stuff like that. So it's probably perfect to be used for parts and things. So it's pretty cool that he's got all this stuff here. And like I said, this is nowhere near close to how many Skylines this guy owns. Now this 32 GTR, uh, Takonori-san used this to make the 32 FRP fenders that he's developed. So this was kind of like the prototype car and everything he based it on. And you can buy these fenders through a bunch of dealers online and you can run these on your car or GTSTs, whether or GTRs, but to get that kind of wider GTR front look, um, he developed those FRP fenders for that. So that's pretty much like the main thing that he's been focused on. Previously, they used to sell a bunch of really cool stuff. In fact, we'll look at some magazines upstairs in a little bit, but he was the first person that did the 33.4 the front end face swap. So we're gonna look at some cool stuff and we've got some cool things to talk about with my car later, but- So basically you found your dad. Well, the Skyline Daddy. Yeah, yeah. and the, 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 you know, the guy who pretty much developed the 33.4 and made that a thing. Yes. Yeah, so we'll talk about that later, but <laughs> right now the main business that Meiku's like focusing on is kind of like developing a bunch of parts like this for the 32 GTR and other models so that you guys can get an FRP fender for a quarter of the cost of what like the Nissan Heritage parts are listed for and stuff like that. And also just a bunch of aftermarket part support and stuff as well, so. Pretty cool and they just opened this shop by the way guys like this is literally like a week old previously he did everything from his house so it's pretty cool that he's uh been able to finally open up but yeah let's keep going through now this car i think is something a little special uh this one is not uh takanori sans this is otani san de show otani san otani san <laughs> makes a bunch of aftermarket parts as well and this car may look like a gtr but it's not a gtr right replica. it's a replica Come and show us a little bit about your car. This thing is probably one of the best replicas I've seen from the outside, to be honest. Even the inside looks great. Look at this interior. The Pexi Power FC. But the best thing is this. So he developed that, and then he also made a five-speed GTR lookalike shifter. 
all of these parts are sold as well through Meiku or anywhere else online. What's your company name? Grid Racing. Japan. Grid Grid Racing, right? I think I've seen some Grid Racing stickers on uh, Sayaka Chan's car, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> that's so cool. But this looks amazing. Uh, oh yeah, he's made it look like a GTR meter. GTR conversion. Harness thing. Oh, you got the harness plug too? Yeah. Wow. So it's actually the GTR meter. And you use like a little sub harness to change the plugs. Jeez, this guy understands English. He's been talking to me in Japanese this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think under the hood, he's running probably an RB25. I just noticed something. He has a reversing camera, but it's facing this way. Why do you have the camera facing this way? Uh, ah! So when he leaves his driveway at his house, he can't see oncoming traffic. So he yeah. sticks his nose out and looks at the camera to see if traffic's coming. <laughs> That's genius! I love that! Only in Japan. All right, let's have a look at this engine bay. Nice! Plasma Man, big shout out to Plasma Man. That is awesome. Some Australian parts here. Looks like an RB25 Neo running the LD plug conversions. You sell a converter kit for that, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And then looks like he's running Shibata Sans uh, from R31 House, their exhaust manifold. This is cool. I love this. RB26 covers. Looks great. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> He's like freaking out. <laughs> little little seal came down. It's okay. It's good. This looks awesome, man. Great. I love it. From the from the outside, you'd think this was a GTR, hundred percent. This is awesome. I love that he makes all that stuff too. Like the multifunction display. That's awesome. The wing looks great too. Wow. Wide body and everything. FRP. FRP fiberglass. Mm. Looks good though. Why did you want to make a replica? Um, Yasui kara? Yasui kara, mm. Okay, so because it was cheap and because he had fun making it. Mm. That's great. I like that. And then we've got this, the Nismo Catalog 33 GTST. This thing we saw at Nostalgic Two Days and it is absolutely beautiful. This wing is worth so much now. I wish I bought one a couple years ago when I was looking at one in Yahoo auctions and I think I wanted to, I think it sold for like 300 bucks, but uh, now they're worth like a couple more zeros. This thing is beautiful. I love the color red on it. it. looks amazing. And then these two stages here are just being used as parts cars. As I'm sure you guys already know, a lot of the drivetrain in these is the same as the 32 and 33 GTRs. Even though the engine may not be 26, these are, I believe, RB25s. Um, the transmission and everything else kind of matches up with the 32 and 33 GDR. So it's good to just have these as parts cars ready to go. Even the engines in them, 25s cost a fair bit of money these days. So it's good to have some parts cars. And now we're heading inside the shop, which is pretty, pretty tight. I love that they got a little lift there. And we're gonna look at this 34 in a little bit, but this is what's super cool. Are these the real deal or are these replicas? This is the replica? This is the whole model this car? Wow. So if you guys know anything about 33 GTRs, these are 33 four-door GTRs. Onigaishimasu. He's gonna open the bonnet for us. Wow. So he made a replica version of the real one. Which I think is pretty cool, because this is his old era, I believe, too. Yes. So they don't make this anymore. I love that it's like <laughs> make uh, the name is Maker and Make. Like it's it's pretty much that's exactly why they called it that the the company name. But they used to make this a long time ago. This crazy arrow, and we'll look at some magazines from <laughs> Auto Salon and stuff <laughs> back in the early two thousands. But this is the real deal. <laughs> This is so cool. Normal fender. Hmm. Toji no FRP fender. Yeah. The original FRP fender yeah. that came with it. That's cool. So that's the original fender, and yeah. then this is the FRP fender that he developed and yeah. made from that for this replica car. That's cool. It's awesome. Ganadors, of course. 
So if you guys know, this is an Ortec GTR. They made a certain low number of these and they're very unique, very cool. So you can see the Ortec badge. It's crazy that this is just crammed in here. And then he made this, which is a replica of this exact car. So I think it's kind of cool. Like if anyone's ever got permission to make a replica is if you own the original, then you can do whatever you want and make another one, right? This one's cool. Custom lights and everything. The aero, it matches pretty good. It's not bad. This is really awesome. They ought to see these because I remember seeing these in like really, really old magazines and stuff from Auto Salon like 10, 15 years ago. It's crazy. So something that we just learned was these Ganadors here are the very first prototype ones that they developed for a four-door 33 Skyline. So the two-door and the four-doors are different here, right? Now Ganador worked with Takanori-san and used this car to develop the four-door base. So this part of the Ganador is always the same. This is the part that changes between, depending on your car model, right? And it's normally like cast um, steel or aluminium. And this was used, uh, This these are the 000 version of the Ganador for the four-door. So it's pretty cool. Another Ganador part here too. Where? The strap tower here. Oh, that's crazy. It's a Ganador one. Wow, I've never seen a Ganador strut tower before. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. They were close with making all these uh, parts. Yeah. Rear wing original. Oh, this is the wing that he made? Kore? So. Oh, it looks like a GTR wing, but kind of shorter. That's nice. Mm, so this is the four-door 33 GTR wing that he developed. This is the This is Yeah, mm. already made So these are actually available for sale and I'm sure if you just type in Google you can search for the Meiku um, like FRP fenders or 32 fenders or R33 four door wings and stuff, they'll all come up. That's so cool because there's a lot of dealers in Japan that sell um, like I think like RHD Japan, Kaku and things like that. A bunch of companies sell these parts which mm -hmm. is awesome. That's and then cool. everything on here he pretty much made himself with the wide body and everything, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So. so he used this car as like <laughs> the uh, the base, yes, base, and he took everything from here, like made the molds and everything off this. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So twelve wow. to thirteen. He fit, made twelve to thirteen kits. That's that's actually kind of crazy. Mm, sugoi. And then this car is pretty unique. I love this thirty four GTT. Ooh, Ganador's too. And uh, it's got an RB25 Neo, nice top mount, old HKS GT Series turbine kit. Damn, that's so cool. This in mani intake manifold. Uh, original. Ah, you made it? Mm. He made that intake manifold. Original. That's cool. Toyota. Ah, Toyota no throttle body. One JZ. So. That's a one JZ intake uh, uh, throttle body. So. Ooh, number ki desu ka? Yeah, he says that this thing makes roughly around 600 PS. That's really cool. Yeah. Dang. Neo engines, man. Engine is RB28. Oh, it's an RB28. Okay, there you go. Now it makes sense. Yeah, so he's using the Neo 6 head, but the block and everything under it is a 2.8 liter. Mm. He's running Tome cams. Mm. Oh, he's upgraded all the valve train springs and stuff. Oh, and he also ported the engine too. That's really cool. Sugoi. Response is quite good, isn't it? So, this is it. Uh, yeah, it says like like it's got a lot of power download, super responsive, and it comes up really fast. Yeah, nice. Mm, so it doesn't bog down at all. Mm. That's cool. So 
Awesome. And then I guess over here, he's made some adapter plate for the idle air control valve. I think that's awesome. And then I think right now they're wiring in some gauges and stuff and working on some wiring. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bag for the window washers so you can pass shuck in. What kind of work are they doing on it right now, May? Oh, they're setting up the multi display, the multi function display. Ah, they're wiring in right now the multi function display, which is the same that's in Otani san's car, right? Yeah. And nice. And they're probably going to be changing to newer coil packs too. I can see those uh, Aldi coil packs on the ground there, which is cool. And then he's got some nice red Recaros in here. That's cool. I love the color orange. Pretty unique. You don't see many people go for this color over here. Unless it's an RX-7 FD, and we all know there's a reason for that. <laughs> That's nice. I love the subtle, like, little flares. Oh, I love that so much. I like their logo, make it. Very cool. Kind of looks aggressive with the carbon fiber trunk. Ah, oh, I miss my GTT so much. Need to get one again. I was just walking past and I noticed that the brake caliper on the replica 33 four-door GTR has Porsche calipers on here. Porsche brakes. And um, Takanori-san said that I think the Porsche 928 has the same calipers as the Skyline. Yeah, the one with the pop-up lights? Pop-up, pop-up. Yeah, that they have the exact same brakes that the Skyline uses. Interesting, I never knew that. That's, that's kind of crazy. Huh. They do look like GTR brakes. They look like the Brembo GTR brakes, but they just have Porsche's logo on it. That's cool. What about the rear though? The rear must be. Nissan ones, yeah, that makes sense. Interesting. Before we head up into the office, rules are shoes off. Although well, I kind of feel like I want to wear the pink ones. <laughs> Love the snap on tools, Matt. Yo, this is cool. Such a cool little office. They've got a simulator as well. That's cool. Bunch of car parts everywhere. Yo, this magazine collection. Yeah, this is really rare. There's a lot going on there. Oh, wow. Look at the old HKS gauges. Some cool parts. Got like a steering wheel, some brake lines. That's the, the multifunction display. It's the one that um, uh, we saw in the replica car and the one that he's putting in his. Coil pack kits from Grid. Otani san sells all that. And there you go, there's all like the different GTR shift knobs he makes. It's cool. Wow. Look at all the different car. Oh man. Look, 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 there's a four door one. The GTR Ortec four door. Well, oh, there's the LM. Oh, that's cool. That's also cool. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here that's cool that I'm geeking out over right now. <laughs> Have you seen these? What? Here. Oh, that's cool. These are like $2,000. What? One of them. These what? are original. Like the first ones? Yes. <gasps> Look at the Pikes Peak 400R. Yeah. What? Yeah, he even has these like D1. The original D1 GP D1s, ones they made? Yeah. That's actually super rare. Wow. Oh, dude, look at all these old ones. And then these endless ones. That's so cool. Dude's been collecting these for a while. That's cool, he's got the four door <laughs> GTR up there on the truck. Yeah, on the truck. I love how he has the truck. And then the 35 GTR engine too. Mm. This one, do you see this? Oh, the old Tomikas? Really Kus? old Tomikas. That's cool. Mark II, like Corona Mark II. To wow. The Fair Ladies, it's really old ones. Man, what an awesome collection. He's got some initial D stuff here too. That's cool. Wow. And then a uh, bunch of nostalgic stuff. The Takumi oil cans. These are actually kind of cool. They did a few prints with initial D stuff on there. It's awesome. It looks like they're selling a bunch of Okubo factory stuff. We need to go and do some stuff and check out their shop at some point too. But this is wild, man. They have the GTR magazine, like. You know, he has this. Look. Oh, he has the very first one from 1994. Yes. That's wild. What did that even look like? Wow. The original, the first. Open it up for a sec. Be careful with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my god. The pages are all like... This one. 
It's like we always take oh, over. Yeah, the Cal Sonic 32. Oh my gosh. You may all meet it. Okay, don't show me any more on that because I do not want to see uh, the set the cars for sale section where it shows us how much the cars are selling for back there. That's so cool. So many different magazines. Man, I could geek out and stay here for ages. Yeah. So now you guys kind of start to understand why I call it call um Takanori san the Skyline Daddy. I'm amazing excited. This here is an old dress up magazine from 2000. Hese. Juni Hese 12 and uh, this was the first time that the Meiku 34 front end swap on a 33 Skyline was released and done. So this car was actually really popular. It was all in like auto salon and stuff back in the- Look, look at the old WD void. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that an MD display, a mini displayer? Yeah, there's That's a lot crazy. of um, history on in this. So yeah, as you can see, 33 GTST. That's cool, the Ganador exhaust, that's wild. And then here, this that's is the 33 GTR. The 33. Spoilers that they made. Oh, back in the day for the four yeah, door. this was their catalog. That's the old Aero. Yeah. That's so cool. Wow, look at all this. The lip spoilers. The super spoiler. Yeah. So Maker used to make all of that, all from his house. That's so insane. And then over here, that's that same car. And what magazine is this one? It's Club Skyline. Club Skyline. Wow. And their cars on the front cover. That's so cool. Oh, this one as well. Wow. Well, he definitely created a buzz with this, I think, back yeah. in the day. That's so cool. What magazine is this one? This is Club Skyline. Club Skyline again. That's so cool. Look at the full feature. Wow, look at those rear over fenders. That's so trippy. Oh, oh, May. Nene. What a North Skyline bungle on Nazi Desert. Sansani. My number plate is the same, 332. <laughs> my number plate on my 33.4 is the same, 332. And everyone makes <laughs> fun of me. Oh. Yeah, that's right. He's saying 33. <laughs> <two> <laughs> <door>. <laughs> I always thought it was I know, Sansan Koki, Series 2 cut up. So. That's so crazy. We have the same number plate. <laughs> this was meant to be. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe it's the same car, maybe <laughs> nah, I don't know, but that's blowing my mind right now. That's like literally meant to be. So how we met on our Takonori san Hi. was at uh, Nostalgic Two Days mm -hmm. and he came up to me and said he watches my videos. Mm. Isn't that mind blowing? <laughs> そう、あの、初めて my friend that's so cool yeah so the guy who initially made a 30 like the guy who did was the first to make a 34 front end swap 33 saw me and was like oh i want to be his friend because i had that car that's so cool yeah i love japan man i love japan this is mind-blowing See now, now i have a dilemma because i was thinking of changing from the 30 34 front end back to a 33 now I now I don't know if I want to. <laughs> uh, he's pulling you back in. He's pulling me back into it. Yeah. yeah. I still. I <laughs> see. Can I? I know. I know. It's very. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, man, I wish I wish I was the age that I am now like back then like with all of this But also I don't at the same time It's like Ganador's on everything in this in these magazines What's mind-blowing to me is I only learnt today for the like I didn't know Ganador made exhaust I didn't know Ganador made strut braces Oh, this is his Aero 2 on this car That's cool 33 See, so his, mm. his oh the his same plate San San Ni Wow, so that was a thing back in the day, was it? 
。三三二あの三三ツーどうですか。そうです。ええー。三三の報道は三三四。だから俺の車は三三二つってる。<笑>そう。<笑>でも what's crazy is that we never asked for、um,。No, we got that plate completely by accident。明言した時に、うん、あのお願いしなかったんですよ。うん、番号これがいいっていう。うん、なのに三三二で来たんです。すごいラッキーじゃない運命だね。<笑> uh, <they saw? 笑> He says it's like meant to be, right? This is creeping me out, man. <笑> we didn't even like ask for it, like, because we didn't want to wait, and they just handed the plates to us, and it was a random lucky dip when we got Sun Sun Ni. <笑> I'm not joking, I'm freaking out right now. <笑><笑>すごい。Wow. That is so awesome to be able to meet and hang out with someone. Who was the first to do this is just blowing my mind. <sighs> You're too excited. I'm way too excited. I think, I think this just further proves that we need to do something with the 33.4 this year and get that thing up and running and ripping because. Uh, I don't think he's gonna let me not do that. So <laughs> he, wants to, he wants to see me driving it soon, and I think we're gonna be doing some cool stuff together with the car and make sure that that happens this year for sure. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What we have here are some of the original sketches of the cars that they developed Aero on. So we have the 33 here, this is a 32, and this is a 33, and you can see. That they use this was the initial sketches that then they based all the aero that they made off on. It's so cool, like just being able to see this. I love this wing design here and everything. And then seeing like this is where it started and where it ended downstairs is just super cool. And seeing it in some of these magazines, and he's going through a little bit of nostalgia right now going through these. <laughs> We're thoroughly enjoying this. This is amazing. This is like meant to be so cool. The front bumpers are so aggressive. All the different vents and stuff. Man, I think we need to go back to a 33 front end though. I think we have to do it. Because we're gonna own a 34 sometime soon, so might as well. Unless we get another 33. And we just make that its own car. Yeah. May, Maze, you see, the problem with Maze, I look to her for guidance and her telling I, me no. Yeah. But she doesn't tell me no. She's down for anything. She thinks cars are like shoes and there should be one for、yeah, every occasion. Okay. I don't think so, but anyways. <laughs> Definitely, if we bought like 20 GTRs back, like when I first moved here, it would have been, but not anymore.、Yeah. And this was their original catalog we were looking a little bit at、yes. before. So you can see some of like the aero that they developed come from this. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. Man, that's so cool. Like to see that's what they started with, a, a sketch, and then this is what it looked like when they were done. So cool. <laughs> He's having a nostalgic moment. <laughs> By the way, this is his son, and they run this together, which is awesome. <laughs> oh, wow, it is Yamamoto san. Wow. Blast from the past. One thing that me and Taka Nui san share. Is that we both love Suzuki e v e r y s Now, these may not look like Suzuki e v e r y s but they are an e v e r y and they do a Jimny front end swap on them. And you can do some really cool camper van style things with the Suzuki e v e r y s So, we were geeking out about our e v e r y s before. He's got a couple, I've got a couple. e v e r y d a i s k i the show. e v e r y d a i s k i Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, maybe we've got some bad ideas or good ideas, whichever you want to call them, but it's so cool. Oh man, all these little like books and stuff they have of all the things you can get for the every trucks and also the vans. And, yeah, we're geeking out. <laughs> this every here is Takanori san's one. I kind of love this, it gives it like a nice little、uh, eyelid kind of effect, makes it look aggressive. They made this front bumper and everything too. But I think what cracks me up the most is I looked inside the window. And it's just full of GTR parts. There's an intake manifold there, a radiator, there's a turbo manifold there for one of the twin turbos. Everything here is pretty much being used as like part storage. It's kind of wild. But I'm also not surprised because these guys literally just set up the shop. So they're kind of moving everything over from、uh, their personal property to now their business location, which is kind of awesome. I love it, man. It's so cool. And you can see in the back the rear bumper for this car, too. And A bunch more GTR parts, a lot of exhausts and stuff like that in there. <laughs> Wild.
We're showing Taka Naughty Sun uh, all the mods we've done to the key van. What should I do, Shaw? <laughs> Never thought I'd be here with the Skyline Daddy and geeking out over every stuff. It's very cool. Oh. Bucket to sit on. Bucket to Yeah, let's put a bucket seat in. <laughs> Hundred or more? Quick release? Paddle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put some paddles in. Oh man, this is gonna escalate quickly. Alright, guys, we are wrapping up here, but I had such a good time hanging out with the guys here at Meiku. I think. I think we found the right person to help me with all the skyline problems that I've been having with getting parts and things like that. And uh, he's just such a genuine guy. It really reminds me of, like the first time we met Okachan and things like that. So I think it was meant to be. I'm still freaking out about that number plate stuff. But anyways, me and May are gonna jump in the cave and we're gonna head back to the shop and we'll pick things up from there. It's now a couple days later and I completely forgot to shoot an outro once we got back to the shop, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're excited about more content coming for the Skyline stuff on the channel. It's definitely something that's been lacking and whatnot, and I definitely went down the rabbit hole with the whole SR platform and their chassis, which there's nothing wrong with. I love that and I'm glad we did that, but it's time I went back to my roots and it's time we got back into some RBs, the stuff that's pulsing through my veins and... I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. 33.4, she's coming back, but she just might not be a 33.4 anymore. We will see. Still on the fence, but I'm kind of leaning one way now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know in the comment section if you're excited for Skyline stuff and hit that subscribe button. It is so cool. I have to say this, but it is so cool to be hanging out with the right people in the car scene over here in Japan, the legendary guys. There's Okachan, now there's Takanori-san. It's just... So cool. I'll see you in the next one, guys.